in providing all necessary books to secondary schools as well as primary schools and other educational institutions throughout the state. Test books, exercise books and other learning materials such as mathematical sets have been provided by government. Not too long ago, Governor Isai Buda launched the supply of books worth over 2.6 billion naira. Six million copies of assorted test books have been given free of charge under this program. This is perhaps unprecedented in the history of educational development in Nigeria. I'm happy to announce that we bought over 6 million textbooks from primary schools up to our secondary schools. There is no secondary school today that does not have textbooks enough to cover all the subjects. And I don't believe there is any state in Nigeria that has done that for its own students. I challenge the teachers and I challenge the students. These books are not meant for the students of this generation only. The books are meant for generations yet unborn. These books are normally reviewed by the publishers from time to time. They are normally improved form. So we expect that the teachers will encourage the students to keep the books in good shape, in good form, so that they pass them to the next generation of students who will learn from these books. And I pray that the Almighty God will support the school, will support the teachers, support the children, and may the education that they will get from here be of benefit to them, benefit to both states, benefit to Nigeria, and benefit to humanity. Yes, all the textbooks purchased by the uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Bochi States, have already uh, been received by this school, and we have shared them. You may it may delight you to even know that even math sets, this math set is given to every student in this school. So every student has uh, exercise books. We shared to them, especially this time being the first time the beginning of the session. We shared to them exercise books, their textbooks, and massets accordingly. So all of them have their uh, uh, reading, writing materials in their hands. It is a very great focus for somebody to focus on things like education in the modern world. And Mala has already has a very big focus. I will talk particularly to education because that is my special area of concern. He has done much and we are still praying that he will do much more to reach to our students that are, I mean, to our children that are coming up. Because of widespread poverty in the state, parents were finding it difficult to foot the examination bills of their children in words. For the first time in the history of Boucher State, the government has been taking up the responsibility of paying the fees of all students sitting for their final year examinations. Before now, only female candidates enjoyed this privilege. Since May 2007, all examination halls are always full on examination days, as no candidate is sidelined because of his or her inability to pay for the fees. Governor Isa Yuguda, in his first year in office, was also able to address the problem of acute teachers' shortage in secondary schools by embarking on the recruitment of fresh teachers as well as interested, experienced teachers who are already in retirement. So far, Thousands have been recruited and posted under the teacher's recruitment program. The governor has also introduced the volunteer teacher scheme. Under this scheme, any government functionary who wishes to teach in any of the secondary schools in the state is given time off during his working hours to go and deliver his lessons. Governor Isa Yuguda himself is leading the way. The problems of secondary school teachers have also been addressed one after the other. Apart from increasing their take-home pay and enhancing their general condition of service, 
A large number of teachers' quarters have also been rehabilitated in various secondary schools and technical colleges across the state. Some of these staff quarters have been completely rebuilt and looking new while serious work is progressing.